course, because of the additional monitoring skills it takes to uh, work on a phase one trial. And so the focus are the same in many monitoring practices, but there's a, additional or different um, things also that we'll go into. So from all the way from the informed consent to data review, um, also to some of the kinds of sampling we do from our subjects. So we're going to overview the different skills and certain components of the each for the types of monitoring. And one thing we can't do in this course, so that's something you'll have to do additionally on your own, is your project design, your therapeutic area, the specific subject population will also affect monitoring practices. So you'll have to then supplement your training like you would with any project. So this presentation is not specific to any of these factors. And again, um, always will be a good supplement for you to do that. So objectives for today. You'll see on slide four, we're going to distinguish phase one monitoring activities with other types of trials. And what are the differences between phase one research sites and others we'll go over. Um, we'll discuss the importance of being familiar with PKs and time blood drawing. And talk about the requirements for bioequivalence drug accountability and disposition. We'll go into some safety monitoring for phase one. Essential documents, the requirements, particularly for phase one. And what are some compliance issues for regulatory inspection? What have we seen being a focus of the, in this case, I'll talk specifically about FDA for the research sites. 